Hello there. Today I'm going to be talking about the Internova 1000. We've designed the Internova 1000 to be incredibly bright, long lasting, and simple to use. We're going to go over how to use and get the most out of your lantern. Battery installation. Remove the rubberized base cap on the bottom by rotating it counterclockwise and pulling it out. Install four D-sized batteries, making sure that the positive and negative ends are inserted correctly as indicated on the lantern. Replace the rubberized base cap by aligning the guide posts to the corresponding slot on the battery compartment, sliding the post into the slot, and then twisting the base cap clockwise while pushing down to lock it into place. Operating your lantern. The Internova 1000 comes with one power button that is used to power the lantern on or off, as well as cycle through all available modes. To turn the Internova 1000 on, simply press and release the round button in the middle of the lantern. Cycling through all modes. With four modes to choose from, the Internova 1000 is the only lantern of its kind to offer a dimmer mode. Pressing the power button once puts a lantern into the low mode. To access high with dimmer mode, from the low mode, press and hold the power button. Continue to hold until you reach peak brightness. You will see the bulb flash, indicating the lantern has reached maximum brightness. If you continue to hold, the bulb will begin to decrease in brightness and continue to the bulb's lowest brightness. When the bulb has reached the lowest brightness, it will flash again. At any point while dimming, you can let go of the power button to maintain your preferred brightness. From the high with dimmer mode, press the power button once to access red mode. From the red mode, press the power button once more to access the red SOS mode. To turn off the Internova 1000, cycle through modes 1 through 4, and press the power button once from mode 4 to turn the lantern off. Thank you, and we hope to see you again soon. Hi, I'm Mike Deneen with Streamlight, and we're here today to talk about the launch of an exciting new product, the Siege Lantern. So what I'd like to talk about today with the Siege Lantern is first the rugged design and uh, we'll talk about the materials and some of the things that we've done uh, to really assure that the Siege Lantern is a, a durable product. And then secondly, we'll tackle some of the functionality of the Siege Lantern. We've built a lot into it, so we have a lot to go over with you today. First, let's talk about the, the durable design of the Siege Lantern. Uh, the Siege Lantern is constructed of a polycarbonate with an elastomer overmold. The idea of the elastomer overmold is that anywhere that this lantern might take an impact, if you drop it, say you drop it on the ground or on a table, it's going to hit that elastomer overmold first. And that really increases the durability of the product. Uh, our design specification was to meet a two meter impact resistance and we did meet that uh, goal in testing. The Siege Lantern is waterproof and it floats. We've achieved the waterproof rating by having an O-ring seal between the different components of the lantern from the top compartment and also the battery compartment is O-ring sealed. It's also designed to float. When you drop this in water, the battery compartment's on the bottom, so the weight, the ballast of the lantern is underneath and it'll float in water upright. The Siege Lantern has five lighting modes. In white light, it has a high, medium, and low. The fourth push of the button turns the light off. When you turn the light on, it'll come on in a high mode. When you release the button for two seconds, it'll stay on in high, and then you can turn it off by hitting the on-off button again. If I hit and hold the on-off button, it takes me into a red mode. Now the red mode, that red light, is really good on your eyes. So if you're inside of a tent or working in a dark environment with red light, when you move into a dark environment without the red light, your eyes will adjust quicker. The red light is very good on your eyes. In this red mode, if you cycle that by hitting the button twice, you'll also enter into an SOS mode with the red light. The on-off button acts as your low battery warning also. The on-off button, when you have good battery life, will be green. It will go to yellow as the battery depletes. 
and it'll go to red when the battery is near done. There's a lot of different ways to use the Siege Lantern. We've built in a handle that's very comfortable to carry in your hand. The handle also has a notch in it so that if you want to hang it on a rope, for instance, on a campground, that notch will keep the lantern on the rope. We've also integrated D-rings into the top of the lantern and the bottom of the lantern so you can hang the lantern any way you want to. One feature that I really like is that you can remove the cap and you can use the bottom D-ring to hang the lantern upside down and you can really use this as a room light. The battery compartment is on the bottom of the Siege Lantern. I mentioned before for waterproofness we've designed the battery compartment with an O-ring seal. The Siege Lantern runs on three D-cell batteries. Uh, one of the nice things about the Siege Lantern is that we've built an indexing post into the battery compartment so that when you replace the batteries and we put the battery compartment door back on and secure it, that post lines up the polarity of the batteries the correct way every time. We've designed a vent into the bottom of the battery compartment also. Now, the main purpose of the vent naturally is for venting of the battery compartment, but we're also able to design this valve to prevent water ingress if you do drop it in water, and that's what maintains and achieves the waterproofness for the Siege Lantern. Now when you think a Lantern product, you naturally think camping and outdoors and we think the Siege is a great fit for our customer base in the sporting goods markets. But also the Siege Lantern was designed with preparedness in mind. So for that next power outage that you have in your home, have a Siege Lantern on hand for every occurrence.